you know, whenever we get up matched up with uh, William and Mary, it seems to be the the same script. Uh, we, we it comes down to a very tightly con contested b basketball game. They run uh, tremendous patterned offense and very difficult to defend. But for the most part, uh, particularly in the first half, I thought we did a, a solid job on um, our defensive assignments. Uh, I thought you know midway through the second half we gave through way to a little bit of fatigue and um, you know allowed them to to kind of get back into the game and make a run at it. But uh, luckily we were enough, uh, make enough plays, we were able to make enough plays down the stretch and um, earn us a victory, which is a long time coming for this group. Any questions for Joel Smith, Coach Cohen, Jason Allen? These are the players. What's the feeling like in that locker room finally to get to see a win? Is there a little feeling of relief, at least for the moment? Uh, yeah, uh, it's great to finally get a win. Uh, we've been on a little drought, but uh, just come together every day, practicing hard, same effort, and uh, we finally get, came out with a W. A bit exciting at the end there. <laughs> <laughs> Did you feel uh, if you could have just gotten it by getting it to 20, then they might have they might have broken their spirit a little bit? Uh, yeah, there was times we could probably put them away, but uh, they're a great team and kept coming at us. And uh, luckily, the time ran out uh, early on. We talked about the lift that Joel gave you tonight, for me, especially the first half. Uh, big time, uh, coming out shooting, uh, able to take some pressure off me and. You see, he had the hot hand, so we was trying to get him the ball as much as we could, and uh, that matchup was on. Jesse, you talked about the possession. You guys were up seven; they were making a bit of a run. Shot clock was winding down, and you hit a three on that right wing. Can you talk about what you were looking for? Uh, I wasn't looking for anything in particular. Uh, just trying to make a play for the team. Uh, they looked for me to do those things, come down to the end of the game, and I was able to knock down the shot. Joe, you came into this game the last four games having really shot it well. And you first half today in particular, you kept that going. Has there been something different lately? Did like they look for you more? Do you, you feel a little more or you feel like that was kind of No, I think the whole season my team has been looking for me. And some games I just haven't been able to knock down shots. And luckily the last couple games I've been able to knock them down. They find me and they trust me to keep shooting. So I just keep shooting and it's, it's following me. So. So, I mean, you seem like you were feeling it right off the bat here, the first one you knocked down. When you get that first one down, what does that do to your confidence? You know, um, it's a big confidence booster. Like, like Coach said, don't let a guy score because as soon as you get the first two points, the basket just get bigger and bigger, and it's looking pretty big for me tonight. So. Looking pretty big? <laughs> <laughs> Coach said it's always like the same script when you play William & Mary, except today was like the mirror image where you guys got out to a big lead and then William & Mary came back. Right. In the second half, what were you thinking <laughs> telling the team in the timeouts uh, to make sure that didn't happen? Well, you, you know, the, the, their offense, they, they have great utilization of the three ball, so they can make up ground in a hurry in a couple of possessions. So we were wary of that defensively, really no uncontested threes and continue to, to, to stay alert on defense and concentrate on defense. And then on offense, it's a fine balance. You don't want to stop playing, but you also want to play time and score. You want to remain aggressive and, and uh, keep taking it to the basket and taking open shots when you when they pre present themselves. So, you, you know, you can't, uh, you, you know, go to the prevent defense and, and, and stop playing offensively. You have to remain aggressive, and I thought our, our guys did that for the most part. Coach, you had four players in double figures tonight. I'm not sure if you even know, but in four of your five wins, you've had four players in double figures. Uh, what is it about the, that balanced scoring that seems to be the key for you guys to call the victories? Well, you, you know, we, we need everybody um, uh, to, to, to share the load. Sometimes, you, you know, it's been, it's been one guy or another guy or two guys. And, um, you know, in, in this, at this level in CAA basketball, you need more than that to earn a victory. Uh, it's just hard to come by. And um, we need contributions up and down the lineup. And today I thought we got solid contributions by everybody who got on the court. Chase, you know, uh, we talked about Joel scoring, being able to score the basketball the last couple of games. How much does it affect you when he's able to get out to a start like that? Does it take some load off of you when he starts scoring? Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, when he comes out hot like that, uh, it takes a little pressure off me. I'm not having to do everything, so uh, I'm able to do the other things. I'm good at rebounding, giving those assists, and playing defense. Yeah, 
had a couple of uh, missed dunks. Uh, <laughs> you noticed that. Out. Yeah. <laughs> how, how frustrating is that for the team, especially when William and Mary is starting to come back a little bit? Well, I just, I just think uh, a little bit of our excitement got the best of us. You know, we had the lead. We were feeling good about ourselves. And, um, you, you know, um, both those guys can dunk the ball. I know that. But I would have preferred just to lay the ball in the basket and take the two points. <laughs> Are you going to wonder if they could? <laughs> no, no, no. I know I've seen it, but, uh, you know, it's a time and place for everything. Uh, Joe, interesting moment for you, I guess, in the second half right there uh, when it was getting down to crunch time. But you came back on the floor with four fouls, uh, and there was a possession there where I think you had to run up and try and uh, take a charge. It's a 50-50 call. When you did that, were you kind of like bracing yourself to hear the whistle and say? Yeah, I just, uh, when I took the charge, I looked at the ref and was just hoping for the point the other way. So, and he did, so I was like, yeah. What were you thinking? Wow, I was just, <laughs> I know our coaches always talk about taking the charge and helping over, so I just kept that in my head. And, but one of them owed me some money now, but <laughs> <laughs> I took one. So. The team took a lot of charges tonight. It seemed like they were very, they knew what was going to happen on defense and they were in the right position constantly. I'm not sure how many there were tonight, but it seemed like a season record for the most charges. I mean, what about the defense that the players just knew what to do when you were in the right position? So yeah, I thought, I thought we were locked in defensively. Um, you know, we, we, we took the scouting report uh, from, from the board to the court and guys were in the right position, particularly early on. Um, we had good energy on the ball. We had good communication. And I think guys were, were, were ready to get a win tonight. And, um, you know, you have to do it on the defensive end. That's where it starts. And, um, you, you know, taking charges and, and being in position is all part of that. And uh, we always say it's a, it's a game-changing play when you step in and take a charge. And uh, it's, it's, uh, it's an unselfish play where you're stepping in, you're giving up your body. It's, it's, a, it's a smart basketball play. Um, it gives the other team another foul. You get to the bonus. So there's so many good things happen when, when you step in and do that. And I was proud of the way the guys stepped up and, and, and took charges tonight. Bill, when Joel took that charge off, did you kind of have to watch that one? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you, you know he's he's um, he's getting more and more experienced. Uh, uh, you know he's getting out there and showing people what he could do. And um, you know we all know we can score the ball. And uh, you know I thought that play was a big defensive play for us. And it just shows his growth as a player. Just maybe one more word about finally getting off the schneid. I mean. Uh yeah. As you say, a long time coming. Yeah, I, I, I mean, um, there's, there's guys in this locker room that, that have experienced a, a lot of winning um, over the last two seasons. And, um, you know, it's, it, it's been difficult, you know, just uh, fighting the fight. But uh, good things happen when you when you keep working hard, and uh, the harder you work, the luckier you get. And um, eventually, if you if you fight through, uh, you know, it's, it's a great feeling. But our guy, uh, locker room was very happy um, they're um, and uh, but I know they're not satisfied it's one good to get this one behind us but we have to get ready right away we got Wilmington coming up Joe I mean as you guys fought through this, that, this the stretch that you went through um, did you guys ever lose confidence or faith or trust in each other I mean, did it start or did you guys just keep it together and then that, is that why you're here talking about a winning uh, no, sir. I think we um, always have the same confidence as we have at the, during the start of the season. Like we all trust each other. And we all we are close. We're family. We say it every day. So, so we all just trust each other and we go out and play hard with the same energy and same focus. And we just came out with a win today because we just wanted it more. Well, I'm, I'm I'm a tough critic, so uh, uh, I, I you know I was very pleased with our first half effort um, defensively. Uh, I thought um, we could have played slightly better down the stretch uh, in our decision making, but basketball ga is, is a game of runs, and they're a good basketball team. They they. Uh, you know, they're not going to go away. They're extremely well coached. They're, they're, they're a gritty team. Um, so the second half is maybe not so much us, but uh, credit credit to them because uh, they didn't give up when they got behind. But we made enough plays to, to win a basketball game tonight, and um, you know, I, I couldn't be happier.